Welcome back. Okay, we've all been there. You're outside in the million degree summer and you just wished a pool would just drive up for you for you to take a dip in, right? Just comes to you. Yeah, just drives up, you know. Well, consider your wish granted. Jocko Whalen and Randy Dorman with Museum of Contemporary Art are here to explain when we're saying your wish is granted. We're talking about a mobile pool? Three of them. Three of them. They're, they were custom built in New York five years ago for Mayor Bloomberg's Summer Streets program where they were on Park Avenue in front of Grand Central Station. That was a company called Macro C I worked with at the time. They were It was Jocko's creation. Well, it was <laughs> a co-parent. David Belt, the head of Macro C and I came up with this. Anyway, we did that in New York and David recently very generously donated the pools to Moca Tucson, paid to have them trucked here. And now they're inside the museum, which is also nice because they're in the shade. They're inside. So the three of them, they have decks all around them. They're up and running. Saturday's the first day. Um, but yeah, they're they're custom. They're very they're street legal, code compliant. They're swimming pools that happen to be made in brand new, 30 cubic yard trash containers. Yeah, well, those pictures, it looked like even nicer than maybe some of our backyards. It looks so nice. They're, no, they're, they're, they're very really nice. fabulous. All right, I'm already a huge fan of this concept. I think it's so cool that they've now come to Tucson to uh, the Museum of Contemporary Art. But I have to ask, I know everybody at home is wondering, are these considered art? Sure, if you want to call it. What I like about them is they're art, but they're also pool. They can be whatever you sort of want. You know, art, art is very broadly it's subjective and i think they are but they're also very simple and elemental water is a beautiful element and also yeah. the mission of the museum of contemporary art is to inspire new ways of thinking and what better way to do that than have a dumpster that's tr transformed into a pool so if you come and you see that this dumpster is now a pool it makes you think a little bit differently and if you take that thinking a little bit differently into another part of your life, then we've really fulfilled our mission. Well, not only that, but people are going to, because I'm going to kind of say it's like practical art. We can use it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. utilitarian. It's a pool. <laughs> so, yeah, so people can come, go swimming, and then also, like you said, they can see other art at the museum that will also inspire them. Yes, and the museum is a building that was going to be torn down and was transformed. It was a firehouse, and it was transformed into a fabulous museum. So this whole idea of transformation... Um, which also plays into the six artists that mm -hmm. we have in the East Wing of the museum. Yeah, there's definitely like a theme of reuse and recycling. And this idea came up at the sort of nadir of the recession of 2009. It was like, we can just do this for cheap. And it turned out really great. We got a lot of attention. Now brought them here. And it said that there's six artists who are having shows in the other wing of the museum. And a lot of them are using like found objects and things repurposing you know not only the pools to swim in but also things the artists have found to turn these six installations that and are concurrent the six artists are amazing they're primarily local although not entirely five of them five of them are local <laughs> they each got a separate room in oh. the museum to transform and I think it's going to be um, just super interesting eye-opening and really enjoyable so we have our Opening for that on Friday night um, for members, yes. 7 to 9 p.m. The pools open um, on Saturday, 12 to 5. Mm, that's the big part of the coming out party of the And pools. The, the pools are for members, but membership is super affordable. It's $50 a year or $4 a month. Okay. And so you can go to the pools for free. We have yoga twice a week for free and all of our programming. Um, for a family, it's $85 a year, which is only $7 a month. And kids are always free. Um, so it's just a, a great place to spend your summer. Well, so much more than art at MOCA, obviously. Yes. Definitely encourage membership because, I mean, you get so much. That's what that. keeps Small us open. And that's what keeps us open. And yes. you're able to bring great things like, like pools. dumpster pools. Uh, yeah. well, and speaking of dumpster pools um, and raising money, I mean, this is something that you're actually going to be auctioning off. Yeah, that was the impetus of all this, was to help MOCA raise money. I mean, for us to have the pools in the summer, and that's really fun and great to have them. But the end result is after September 26th, we can auction them off and, and fund the museum and keep the doors open and keep showing art there. And Randy, you were saying even renting them. 
Yeah. Yes, the museums are open 12 to 5 Wednesday to Sunday, but after hours, the pools are available for private parties. I mean, what better way to oh. have a great party yeah. than in these three pools in the middle of the museum? That's awesome. Well, this is all so exciting. I think that this is just so unique and so perfect for Tucson and MoCA. Thanks. And we're going to make sure our viewers have all the information. But first, I want to thank you both for joining us this morning. Thanks, and we thank hope you. you come and enjoy the pool. Oh, absolutely. Thank and you. you are invited to become a member and celebrate the summer season at MoCA on June 19th from 7 to 9 p.m. For more information, you can call 624-5019 or log on to mocha-tucson.org.